Hey guys, it's Epic Beast, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take an old clock radio and attach an aux cord to it so you can plug your phone in and play music from it. So, sorry if everything's like backwards. I'm recording this with my phone just up against the wall. And I want to be able to see what I'm doing, so it's out of the front camera. I'll try to flip it, but if not, yeah, sorry about that. Um, tools you're going to need are a screwdriver to open it, um, an aux cord an auxiliary cable or like an old pair of headphones you can just snip off the top but that's a little more complicated since there's two channels but an aux cable just like has both built in so yeah like a old aux cable or something um this one had just red and black it actually came from a kit with two alligator clips on the end. I just clipped those off, stripped the wires. Bam, there you go. Um, this one is uh, outlet powered or cord powered. But it does have a battery compartment on it. But when you do that, the clock doesn't work. But the clock is going to work, just, just the radio won't. Instead of the radio, you'll get uh, whatever comes out of here. Um... You also need optional but recommended hot glue gun to like hot glue the wires in place once you do it. And then a soldering iron uh, to solder the wires. Alright, let's get started. Now I've already done this but I'm going to take you guys step by step how to do it. So, let's start by taking all the screws out of the clock radio. Somebody's calling. Hold on. Okay, it's not important because birds have different tones for like different people. Like if it's important, it's a higher tone. Like if my mom or dad calls, it's higher. But if it's just regular, then somebody calls. And it's probably gonna the message that they leave whoever calls called is just gonna probably be like a dial tone noise like the do whatever okay so yeah my grandpa gave me this because he said with the dial that like moves it kept getting stuck and he tried to fix it but it still kept doing it so like oh it's time for a new one you know i think that was the issue so, they got a new one. And it has Bluetooth in it. <laughs> I was like, wow. Sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to see which screws didn't come out. Let's put it in the corner. Oh, there goes that one. It's, this one's a General Electric, by the way. In case you didn't notice. But yeah, what's really cool about this one is that it'll still work like you're not gonna you know oh there you go just broke it i can't use it ever again no you'll still be able to use it like as a regular clock so like if this is your your actual clock or whatever because i have an old one that i use if i can move real quick oh my chair's in the way hold on you, you can see it like right 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 there like hold on like right where my thing is it's old but it still works this one yeah it's got buttons ew what did i just touch something something that was like greasy probably something in here um where are the buttons i did take the buttons out for turning on and the radio or the alarm and the fm and am because it doesn't matter what channel it's on but yeah, here's the basic insides of here. So, this right here, you can see that, this is the radio controller type thingy. That's like how it, for the radio, okay? These are like to, for the channels and everything. That's where the dial is to change all the channels. Um, but yeah, once you do this, the radio will no longer work, just a heads up. But you can always take everything off. So get under your motherboard. 
with however many screws there are. And this one's a little tricky because you cannot, you can't, uh, take it all the way out. Wait, can I? Oh, okay, I guess I can. I didn't know because of the, the, like, power supply thing, I think. I don't know what it's called. Uh, these are pretty cool. Instead of switches, they, there's a little metal. Um, it's not actually, like, a, there's not, I thought there was a button. I was like, if I can't get this to work, I'll take off the buttons. See those things? So instead of buttons, when that just connects, it acts as the button. It's not like, uh actual like push button like how i thought it was where'd this screw come from <laughs> it's a random screw okay oh yeah this never mind i told you that i told you guys it could be battery powered but yeah that is for the radio guaranteed 100 percent. if it's not you just gotta find it and don't don't take it apart now mine's a little tricky because i do have a bunch of solder on it so I'm basically just going to show you from the top. How about that? Okay. So on this, what you want to do is take a piece of wire or something and then like take your stripped ends aux cord and go down one on each side and see which one gets the music to play. Now you may notice that when you do this, you'll still hear the radio. So get a radio that's tuned in really good. And if you can still hear the radio, that's fine. Next, what you need to do is find two pins, take a piece of wire or something, and touch two of the pins with it until the radio stops, and then connect those two wires to the pins that played the music and see if they, it still works, because I've done it before, and it was like, okay, music stops, let's connect these two wires, and it was like all scratchy and everything, so I had to find the right ones. In my case, it was down here or this is technically towards the back of the machine, the bottom two, and then on, if you're looking under the motherboard, on the right side, the bottom two I connected, and that's how I made it not play music anymore. But yeah, here's where hot glue came in for me. Because, oh, drop the screw. Frick. Okay, yeah, but like, right here, this this is the black wire, is it? Yeah, this is the black wire. So, you guys are seeing it definitely than I am. This is on the right side. It may look on the left. I might try to flip the screen, like I said. But this is on the right. Okay? And this is the left. So, it doesn't matter where the red and black go, but on the left, on the re bottom right, or the bottom, it's where I connected the red and the bottom on the... Right is the one where I connected the black. And then the pin above that on the black side, I connected those two together to get the radio to stop working. Now you could just take out this whole piece, but I don't have like a solder sucker. So yeah, once you do all this, you know, I hot glued mine down and then I, the hot glue didn't stick to the motherboard. I think it's got like grease on it. I think my grandpa was trying to like grease it up so it wouldn't uh, stick, but there's just some grease on there. So before you put it all back together, you know, <sighs> make sure it works, you know, make sure you didn't break anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and then uh, get my little MP3 player. And ouch, I'll get my MP3 player and uh, plug it in. Or, yeah, plug it in to the aux. Alright, I can't plug it in from here. Because it's not long enough. Oh, well, I have a 9 volt anyway. I'll just show you guys for now what it looks like with the 9 volt. The clock doesn't work with the 9 volt because I guess this one's not full. It's full of the battery my mp3 player it's not an ipod it's not an ipod it's just an mp3 player but it does use apple's uh port a 32 pin connector but yeah let's turn it on i got it for like 10 bucks off of ebay and it's pretty nice only thing i don't like is the shuffle mode 
which is just random, so more than song will play more than once. So, I connect this. Hear that? Hold on, let me turn the volume all the way up. And with the volume all the way down, you can still hear music sometimes. You can hear that. We got power. Battery is connected. Aux cable. You kind of hear my finger touching it. And when you do that, then that happens. But yeah, I had to cut a little bit down off of it because it wouldn't fit in my phone, the case I have. And I'm like, I like this case. I don't want to have to not use it. Okay, so now we got an aux jack plugged in, or an audio device plugged in. Um, what song could I play that I'm not... I'm going to turn the volume down because it's all the way up on here. But yeah. Uh, let's go, hmm, let's just see a song, oh, here we go, here you go, I can hear music a little bit, but like, that happens on my, my amp over here. My speaker amp, where is it? This, like you can sometimes hear a little bit of music. Uh, you, um, you may notice that it's my room is a little different than my gaming setup video. I had to change it around a little bit, uh, for safety purposes, because my bed was, I guess, too close to the vent. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find. I, I clicked on this song. What the heck are you doing? I don't really know how to use this thing. Alright, let's play. See? Got music. Alright, that, and then, you know, oh, that's cool. And what's really nice is the tuning wheel. I just, that's where I ran the wire out of. And what's really cool is, like, it's got extra space, so if you want, you could shove the wire back in there to, like, hold it but I'm not gonna do that but yeah see the clock doesn't work when the battery's connected I'm gonna go ahead real quick and just show you guys that the clock does work by plugging it in all right so sorry about the mess over here this is this clean clothes I didn't put away unplug this where is it here it is I'll show you guys the clock works no battery no battery Plug the clock in. There we go. And still works. Clock works. Here's hour. Would I don't know how to use this. Hour, minute. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, you know, too bad I can't keep it on a, a single time. Uh, I don't know if I have the materials to actually do that, make it so it just says one time, but it's cool, you know, like if this is your actual clock radio, you know, you could still use it for, you could use it for music and stuff, you know, I got a little, I guess, boom box in the clock radio, <laughs> but except it's just the clock, so I'm not gonna call it a clock radio, I'm gonna call it a clock aux jack, I don't know. But yeah, you guys go, go ahead and reassemble this, but you guys don't really need to see that, so thank you guys for watching, hope you did enjoy this video, and, um, may mind you, when I put this back on, it will enhance the sound, because all the sound's directed out, but yeah, that's what it looks like, you can still access this right here, so, when this is on, like, the alarm is on, the music is gonna play. When the alarm is on, the music is going to play, but if it's off, it's not, because that's how it is. And you could also have it set to, like, just, like, play music all throughout the night, like, on a really long playlist, or just shuffle your whole library. And then you could, uh, 
uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, once the alarm goes off, it'll be whatever is playing on your playlist. Just have it, like, repeat and stuff if you're charging your phone at night. You know? So, as you see, I turned it off. Nothing. Turned it on music. That's for the alarm. And then alarm is just, like, the beeping, I think. Well, we'll keep it on. on. There you go. So, yep, there you guys go.